Hello singers! Today we're going to work on uh, Giulietta and uh, on Eccomi in Lieta Vesta. Um, I have to admit that Italian singers don't uh, respect always the correct diction uh, as an actor would do. Uh, so, uh, these certain words should be pronounced uh, with, for example, a instead of e, but many mother language Italian singers um, simply do it, 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 pronounce it the way they do while they speak. So, if they say lieta, they would say lieta, even singing. And you can hear it. Many, many. Uh, uh, good singers uh, that you can find also on YouTube or wherever um, they uh, they would pronounce it like that. But uh, so we, I will try to focus also on these words that can make you be a little confused about this this thing and about this subject. And uh, I will let you know you should pronounce it like that if you were an actor. But, uh, as a singer, you can maybe decide to do it uh, the other way. I, <laughs> there's a little uh, freedom about that. So, Eccomi in lieta vesta. Eccomi. Be careful because here you have a double C. Double C is a hard sound. K, K, K. For us and anytime you have a double you have to wait there's this uh, suspense moment that you have to wait in order to give the feeling of the double C so hear it eccomi eccomi try which means here I am here I am ecco is here I am is me, so careful. Eccomi. Eccomi in lieta vesta. This is how I would say it. Eccomi in lieta vesta. But careful, we stop here because lieta should be pronounced lieta. Diction would tell us to say lieta with this open a. Eh. Eh, as we uh, already said about Italian vowels in the other, the other video. So, in order to pronounce it properly, you should try and say it as if you were speaking. And uh, eccomi is a word. In, lieta, vesta is the other part of the sentence. But when we pronounce it all together, we say eccomin. Eccomi in becomes eccomin, eccomin all together. So we say eccomi in lieta vesta. So we try bit, um, uh, step by step. Eccomi you. Careful with the double C. Eccomi in. Eccomi in lieta. Eccomi in lieta vesta. V, V. This is a V. Vesta. Like vanish. V, V, V. Same sound, you have it. Vesta. Be careful because these two words, lieta and vesta, subject and, uh, sorry, uh, adjective and noun are uh, both end with two A's, Italian A's. So, lieta vesta. Of course, you don't have to, do, to say lieta vesta. I'm not saying that. Hear the sound of my voice while I read it all together. Eccomi lieta vesta. You have to hear it to pronounce it, to articulate, but don't exaggerate. Eccomi in lieta vesta. 
Cuniglie da vesta. Careful, you could also hear somebody saying, Eccomi lieta vesta. Difference is in the adjective lieta, lieta. Lieta vesta, lieta vesta is the beautiful dress of the bride. So, uh, lieta or lieta, you can find both. So, try it. Lieta, as it is pronounced in the spoken language. Lieta. By some people from the north of Italy, especially because uh, in, in Tuscany, of course, they pronounce it properly, and in the south, also lieta, I think. And vesta, vesta. Okay, all together with right diction, correct diction. Eccomi in lieta vesta. You. Now again, we have eccomi. Eccomi. Comi adorna. Adorna. Ok. E come adorna. E come adorna. The stress of the sentence is on the O. Adorna. O. It's a O. Small O. Adorna. So you say E come. First stress is on the first E of E come and then on the O of adorna. So E Eccomi adorna, eccomi adorna. Careful because the D and the R, so D and R, are very important in order to understand what you're saying. So pronounce them proper consonants are very, very, very important. Come vittima Lara. This altar has an altar of both senses, you can perfectly understand, because she's like a victim on the altar, so the altar has two meanings. Come, like, come, like, come vittima, come vittima. Again you have, uh, careful, come with closed O, come, come, like. Like, so you say come vittima. vittima, vittima, again you have a double here, it's a double T, T, I'm pronouncing it in Italian uh, on purpose, so it's a double T, vittima, you see there's, there's this suspense that is pretty difficult to do, because you, don't have, you cannot say vittima, doubles in Italy, <laughs> in Italian, in Italy, in Italian, uh, both, both things, uh, change completely the difference of certain words and make them really funny. So be careful. Vittima, suspense, and then before starting the uh, following vo vowel, you have to pronounce the T, the, the double that you are suspending. So, vittima. You put the tongue on the palate as if you were pronouncing the T and you stay there. Vittima. And in the end you say it. It's like um, the other one was eccomi, eccomi. You prepare the palate to say the, the consonant that is double, but you don't say it. You just stay there for a second and you imagine to say a first C and then you say the second. So it's eccomi. Okay? So now we have vittima. Careful with the pronunciation of the E because it's very straight, you know. It's not E, vettema. It's not this kind of E. It's very difficult for us to say your E, but your, sorry, your I, but our I of the word vittima is much E. E, careful. You have to know it because when you have to say V, V, you have to know what you're saying. It's not V, V, V that can be heard as a E, okay? Not as an I, but as an E. So careful. Pronounce it uh, the Italian way. Um, so it's come vittima. And again, A and in the word vittima, victim. Victim. Mm -hmm. Come vittima allara. You have lots of A's here. <laughs> allara. 
Here consonants make the big work because you have the double L and the R that make sense. If you don't pronounce them properly then it can be all or or nobody understands. And a good pronunciation make good sound of the voice and good singing. So work on it hard. Come vittima Lara. In this case you um you just say one A between vit mm, vittima and al. Vittimal, vittimallara, vittimallara. Try. Vittimallara. Always uh, record what you what you're doing so you can check. Don't trust yourself too much in this sense because we can make mistakes with our own language. I, I know it perfectly. I, I know I can do it a lot uh, when I sing uh, in other languages. So be careful. Record yourself and check what you're doing. Um, so the old sentence sounds like Come vittima Lara. Come vittima Lara. Try. Very good. Oh, almen potessi. Let's try again. Oh, almen, almen, which is the short form of the word almeno, at least. Almeno, if, you, if I only could. Almen, almen potessi means if I only could, if I could. So, almen Potessi. Potessi is could. Almen if I could. If I at least. If at least I could. So almen potessi. Almen potessi. Here this N that you can hardly hear, but you have to say it. Sorry, this here on my eye makes me blind. Almen. Almen. Can you hear it? It's inside. That's back. Quiet in the nose. Almen potessi. It's not a nasal, but it's quite a nasal, a very soft nasal. Almen potessi. Almen potessi. It's two consonants, but very linked. They are fluent. Okay. Oh, almen potessi. Qual vittima cader dell'ara al piede? Qual, qual, come, as a victim. Qual vittima? Again the double. Qual vittima cader? You. Vittima cader. Again. Qual vittima cader? Dell'ara al piede. Dell'ara al piede. Piede is the foot. So, um, the foot of the altar. <laughs> uh, how can I translate? I'm sorry. Um, I, I don't find the words today. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. Qual vittima cader dell'ara al piede? Piede is the foot. Piede. And here another word that uh, you can hear um, sung by certain singers as piede. 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 It's um, this difference, uh, you can find this kind of differences between the uh, northern pronunciation, northern Italy pronunciation, and the southern, and the center too. In the north, there are uh, in certain words that are pronounced with E, with A, 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 very like that, like piede, lieta, while in the south, they say it much correct, which is lieta, piede, uh, on the other way, on the other, well, there are others that are not, uh, you cannot say that in the south they speak uh, right and in the north uh, is not right, it's just in this, ca in this case it is, okay? Uh, there are differences and we have to know that because certain singers coming from the north or from, from, the, from the south don't respect the diction because we are used to speak a certain way and so we make mistakes in this sense but it's our way to be more natural, you know, so be more spontaneous, sorry. So um, 
uh, being spontaneous is the most important thing about pronunciation. So this is our goal. We have to become as spontaneous as we can. Um, so, qual vittima cader dell'ara al piede? Be careful with the, mm, the stresses of the sentences. Qual vittima cader dell'ara al piede? You. Of course, you cannot say cader dell'ara. In this case, you are pronouncing a double R, which is not, you never find it on, uh, on the beginning of a word in Italian, while you find it in Spanish. So don't be confused between the two, two languages because it is something that exists. If you hear somebody saying Roma, it's Spanish. <laughs> if you see some, somebody saying Roma, it is Italian. Okay? It's a r, 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 but faster. And uh, while, if you have a double, of course, it is the same. R, correre, which, which means to run. Correre. It's, it's a double R. Hmm? So it's the difference. Uh, uh, okay, qual vittima, and in this case, these R's are very important. Cader dell'ara, cader dell'ara. You can hear it's a little difference, different, uh, the, the R of cader, which is more uh, audible, while ara, ara, between the two vowels, it's pretty difficult, so try it, ara, ara. Uh, it is easy not to, not, it can happen not to, pr not to pronounce it properly, even for Italian, so we have to practice it too, <laughs> right, I swear. So it's ara, 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 try. This word is very important in this, in this uh, canto, so careful. Qual vittima cader dell'ara al piede? You. And here you have uh, uh, the word piede with the final e, that is e for you, but a for us, it is, um, it is in the end of the word and it's another vowel that can be forgotten or not pronounced properly, even for us. We have to pronounce it, but we don't have to say it to strong so piede you cannot say that you have to say piede piede you have to hear it so piede try it again because it has a rhyme also with tede which is coming on the next sentence oh nuziali tede careful again nuziali in this case i am underlining a lot this e zia zia li but careful you don't have to sing it like that it's terrible nuzia li it's, it's really funny so oh nuzia li nuzia li nuzia zia try the sound zia zia it's not nuzia li careful this is not this kind of z it's z z z so Oh, nuziali, 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 nuziali tede, rhyming with piede. So, oh, nuziali tede. And here again a word that you can hear pronounced tede. Careful, it can happen. It's not the, the, the worst mistake you can do, okay? Um, but I have to tell you, you have to know, at least, to be aware of what you're pronouncing. So, Onuzialitede, you. And the, the, the stress of the sentence is on onuzialitede. So, nuziali is a fast word which is not stressed if you are speaking or reading, okay? So, onuzialitede, you. Careful with the T, T, T. It's not T, 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 with a D, 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 D. Very dry. T, D, it's not T, D, T, D, no, it doesn't exist. Tede, tede, sorry. Tede, 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 you. Tede, 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 ok. Aborrite così, così fatali. Aborrite. You can find it with, uh, written with two B's 
aburrite o aburrite, it's the same, it's not, it's not wrong. <laughs> Italian is pretty difficult as a language, you can find words that are uh, written differently, probably depending on their origin. So, aburrite, aburrite. So in this case, don't think of the double B. Don't think about it because the most used is the one is the word with one B. Aburrite, no aburrite. Which aburrite is really too much, too many doubles. So uh, take it with one B and it's okay, right? So oh, um, sorry, aburrite, aburrite. You have to uh, to go to that I, aburri, aburri, which is an E in Italian, aburrite. Aburrite. So the, the stress is on the E. Aburrite with the double R. In this case, we have double R. Okay? Aburrite così. Aburrite così. Aburrite così. Così fatali. You. All together. Aburrite così. Così fatali. You. And here again, the, um, I'm always um, uh, talking about the last vowel of the word because, uh, and of the sentence because that very vowel is the one that we always cut off. Cut off, is that right? <laughs> I don't know. It, that we never pronounce while we speak. So if you record a spoken conversation you hardly understand what they are saying if they are speaking very fast because we don't say certain vowels, especially those ones. So careful when you sing or when you are recording some singing or other things in Italian, you always have to pronounce the last vowel of the word and of the sentence. So, aburrite così, così fatali you. Siate. Okay, this should be together. Aburrite così. Così fatali siate. Again. Aburrite così. Così fatali siate. Ah, siate per me faci ferali. Siate per me per disper is for me. For me, you have to say per me, mm -hmm. pronouncing the R well. Um, siate per me faci ferali, faci ferali. Again here, this R, this R doesn't have to be ferali, but because it would sound double, but it has to be audible. So, faci ferali, fera, ra, 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 ra. it's much sweet, well, it's like ara, ara. It's like cader dell'ara, cader dell'ara, it's different, cader dell'ara, when you say it fast, the two R's are different, in this case again, um, siate per me faci ferali, ferali, you, siate per me faci ferali, ardo, you, I'm burning, ardo, Una vampa, un fuoco, una vampa, un fuoco, it's all, all, everything on fire, <laughs> sorry, I'm just joking. Ardo, una vampa, un fuoco, you. Tutta mi strugge, here you have two doubles, double T, double G. Tutta mi strugge, she's suffering so much, everything is pain, you know, so tutta mi strugge, j, j, in this case j, strugge, again, you prepare the mouth for the g and you pronounce it while you're almost saying the e, the e, tutta mi strugge, you, okay, again, ardo, una vampa, un fuoco, F, f, you have this fun, f, 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 it's the same sound as yours. Un fuoco, tutta mi strugge. Oh, some cool wind. 
She's asking for some cool wind, some breeze. Un refrigerio ai venti. And again, here you have venti, which is winds, the winds. Um, uh, lots of people say, pronounce this word, venti, vento, venti. Uh, the problem is that uh, venti is also a number, is the number 20. So it should be pronounced properly. Venti, i venti are the winds. Okay, so, un refrigerio... Re, fri, ge, rio. Some cool breeze. Re, fri, ge, rio. You. Again. Re, fri, ge, rio. You. It's like saying refrigerator, <laughs> but with our. R's. So, un refrigerio ai venti. You. Io chiedo in vano. I ask in vain. Io chiedo in vano. Again, you see that chiedo e in vano are together are quite one word. Io chiedo in vano, chiedo in vano. La I, you have to pronounce it, chiedo in, chiedo in, chiedo in, chiedo in. Can you hear it, right? Chiedo in, chiedo in, and chiedo in vano, chiedo in vano. The, the stress is on the A, in vano, A, on the A. Io chiedo in vano, try. Io chiedo in vano. Un refrigerio ai venti, io chiedo in vano. You. Un refrigerio ai venti, io chiedo in vano. You. Ove sei tu, Romeo? This se is uh, the short form that we don't use while we speak, of the word, of the verb say. You are. Where are you, Rom Romeo? So, you, you cannot say ove se, doesn't mean anything. Ove se tu, Romeo? Ove se tu? Ove se tu, Romeo? Romeo. Ove se tu, Romeo? No, Romeo. We're not Spanish. We're, we're not speaking in Spanish. We're not, sorry. We're not speaking Spanish. We're speaking Italian. So, ove se tu, Romeo? In qual terra da giri? In qual? Terra da giri. Terra da giri. Double R, double G. Dove? Dove inviarti i miei sospiri? Oh, quante volte! Oh, quante ti chiedo al ciel piangendo! Con quale ardor t'attendo? E inganno il mio desir. Inganno. Double N. In. Ing. 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 Inganno. Double N. So, e inganno. Careful, there's a diptong here. E. E. E inganno. You. Il mio desir. So, again, con quale ardor t'attendo? Attendo. T'attendo. Con quale ardor t'attendo e inganno il mio desir? Con quale ardor t'attendo e inganno il mio desir? 
raggio del tuo sembiante, raggio, raggio, raggio del tuo, raggio, raggio del tuo, raggio del tuo sembiante, sembiante, sembiante. Raggio del tuo sembiante. Parmi il brillar. Parmi il brillar. It should say, it should be parmi il brillar. But we say parmi il brillar. Parmi il brillar. Again, parmi il brillar. You. Again. Del giorno, del giorno, del giorno, del giorno. Parmi il brillar del giorno. Laura che spira intorno, Laura. Laura, Laura, Laura che spira, Laura che spira intorno, intorno, around, intorno, Laura che spira intorno, you? Again, Laura che spira intorno. Mi sembra un tuo sospiro. Mi sembra. Mi sembra. Un tuo sospiro. Mi sembra un tuo sospiro. All right, singers. So, practice, practice, practice. And I really hope this video helped you out with this aria. And uh, please, record yourself while you're doing it. Okay? Good singing, everybody. See you soon. Bye-bye.